What is going on guys? I am back in this video. You guys get to see me put a face to the voice. I know it's been a while. I haven't really got time to do any intros or really step into the video. Um, I've only really had time to do the voiceovers. But for this one, I wanted to make an appearance. Um, things have changed with me. My hair is growing longer. I'm, I'm growing my hair longer. Um, it's almost summer. It is summer? What's the official day of summer? It is summer, I guess. Um, this is going to be an experiment. I don't think I've ever done this before. I'm going to be doing lost foam with a tree. I'm going to have six, um, I think they're called sigil stones, made out of aluminum. And I'm going to be doing six of them. Six sigil stones in a tree. Um, if you just saw the 20 seconds uh, before this, which you probably have. I don't think anybody would have skipped ahead of that. Um, it worked. Uh, worked, but it didn't work. It didn't fill out completely. And there's a reason for that, and I will explain that to you in the end of the video. But it worked nonetheless, so that's great. So I'm going to change this video up a little bit. I'm not going to do a voiceover for the entire video. I'm going to do a, uh, I'm going to play some music for you guys in the making of the Lost Foam casting process. If you guys are new to Lost Foam casting, if you need a, um, if you need me to do a voiceover for it, I have tons of other videos that I do the voiceover for the uh, Lost Foam casting process. So let's get right to the video, guys, and I'll jump back in the video on the voiceover side later on the video, but this is probably going to be the last time you could see my face. So let's get to the video. <music>
So I did use all the aluminum I had in the crucible and by the looks of the top of the sprue, it looks like I had enough aluminum. But unfortunately I didn't. You can see I just tapped the sprue there with my scooper and it moved. It had no strength to it. So the more I uncovered it, I noticed that it did not fill out completely. I think I might have got one of them that filled out. The more I'm looking at them and uncovering them, it just looks weird. I mean, they are, I got four of them that are in total shape, but the detail on the top was not completely filled out. And you can see by those bottom two, they didn't reach the end, but they actually look pretty cool. I actually think I'm gonna save these and make some more of them. But you can see on that one there and this one here, actually this one here is the probably the best one out of all of them. And that one is a good example of how the detail just didn't come out. Same with that one and the one underneath. But look at the sprue. The sprue shows you that I just did not have enough aluminum to pour into this foam mold. And it just wasn't enough to reach the end or fill it up all the way to the top to get all the detail. And you can see how well using that plaster or the drywall mud really works for grabbing all of the detail in your foam. When you're doing lost foam casting, definitely use the drywall mud and add it to your foam. So now I'm just gonna cut all of these off one by one and then I'll bring them back to you and show you what they look like. So here's the end result for my experiment for the lost foam casting tree. And you can see that first one was not that great. This one here is the best one out of all six. And again, this one is not that great. You can see the impression is just missing, basically missing on the whole top. Because again, the aluminum did not fill up enough to the top of the mold. So if I had a little bit more aluminum, these all would have worked perfectly fine. So I'll probably do this again. Thanks for watching.